Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Warwick in the top lane, uh, playing against Darius. Probably one of the harder matchups for this, but Warwick actually has insane dueling potential uh, in early levels, and with the addition of Divine Sunder for Season 11, uh, Warwick gets up to 10% max health damage on his Q. Uh, we're taking Grass Race matchup, as well as uh, Divine Sunder deals 10 percent uh physical damage so we got 10 percent magic health damage and 10 percent physical health damage so really hard to um gear uh against work Ooh. so maybe i actually need to wait to queue into him until he queues that's the way i have to play this what's up everybody to kick out the new year myself and a bunch of other youtubers are doing a 500 dollars giveaway and all you have to do is click the link in the description below anyone can win from any region so good luck to everybody darius has really good early levels too and against work i think he actually just beats me early um but we did take barrier and barrier baiting with this champion is insane because you get so much um extra healing when you're uh, below 50% and then it triples below um, 25%. Not doing very good at avoiding. So, you're actually unstoppable during that Q, I believe. Like, it will just like go through. So you can use that against uh, his pull if you time it well enough like I did there. And can actually still get really good trades thumping and gauge on. So even though I'm low, this is actually okay. Just because I get healing uh, below 50% HP. Then back off. And yeah, you see how you got barrier baited? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how many times, like when I've played against War Top, playing literally any champion, usually Chandler, right? Uh, I actually get baited so much by it. Where, like, you think you're about to kill the work, and then he's, um... We need to look to kill Darius again here. He's got, uh, he's got no flash, no ghost. Oh, well, no, he... Okay. I was saying for the gank, maybe you thought I wanted to shove. Which is totally fine. I'll take that, too. Okay, I'm just gonna back off here. So I'm gonna go buy, go ahead and buy a Sheen. So Sheen is gonna add in so much extra damage, which, uh, by the way, works with the uh, damage dealt uh, they receive back on your Q. So you actually just get so much healing back uh, with the Sheen item. Helps out a lot. Nice. Oh, I went super hard in the Seraphine. I got the Aphelios first Sheen lane. Uh, but when I fall behind early, it's okay. So he has Ignite. The only Grievous I see on the team is just the Ignite from Talon. I hope that this uh, Darius doesn't build like early Brambor or something. Although if he does, it's actually, it's not terrible. Just because I deal a lot of magic damage. How about this character? Just because uh, my grasp is magic damage, and as well as the um, my Q is magic damage, my percent health damage on the Q that's all magic. Mm, I keep a minion there. Whoops. Doesn't matter too much. I get a lot of healing, so it's okay. In fact, it probably is better that I do something like that, just so I can bait him a little bit more into fighting. I'll take it slow. We'll deny some minions. We can also... You know what we could do? We can slow push this. Stack up a big wave, hit level 6. And then we can either roam mid. Or maybe even find their Lee Sin jungle. Their Lee Sin actually has uh, a good amount of experience. Level 5 from last time I saw. He's farming pretty well. He's not ganking though. Anyone assist? Got Infernal Drake, pretty good. So 
So any fight that I take melee form uh, against Darius is just gonna go super long. So again, we can cancel out his uh, his pull with our Q. So when you see that he's looking for a pull, we can just Q that. And let me see if I can't make a run mid. I think Maokai's coming in too. Oh, the Jin? Oh, we just got a four man mid? I don't even have to ulti. <laughs> the aftershock from Maokai got it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but. Oh, I was back here. Uh, he's shoving in, but that is a cannon wave he's got to shove in, so he won't be able to shove in fast enough. Alright, so I got my level 7 right before I left there. Got Phage here. Phage gives me um, health back too. So, I have restored 2% of my health over 6 seconds when I deal physical damage, which I will with my auto attack that applies on the cube. Um, Darius could look for rotation mid, just like I went for rotation mid, so I'm just going to ping it out that that's a potential thing. Hmm, a talent's here for some reason. What's up, baby? I thought you'd get this cue off, so I actually buried him. Whoops. So are they lane swapping the Darius into mid? Wow, that Darius got a lot there. Oh, let's head back up. Yeah, I saw the I saw the pink there. I'm not clearing it because I need a ship top in. Shut down. Um let's see. I mean Trimmer can't do what I just did right there, Leeson. <laughs> uh Tom didn't come back top, so I'm just gonna ship this in. I got Divine Sunder, so I'm gonna back off um, before they run me down. Talon's 03, Lux 03, or 30. Okay, with Divine Sunder, I'm gonna have so much damage against Darius. I'm a little bit worried about Darius's full on all win, just because it's so much true damage, which like eats through my damage reduction. I think that's probably one of the biggest things. That's why Darius does super well in the work top. But um, maybe with barrier baits and my ultimate, I can uh, heal back from low HP. An enemy has been slain. Uh, Darius is like thinking about staying. He sends mid. An ally has been it's actually good that the plate falls now. Because Darius isn't around to pick up the gold. So. Any trade I take into into Darius is like exactly what I want to go for. I should W there maybe. So ult inside that queue. Oh my gosh, it's two Qs and an ultimate killed the, the Darius there. I deal so much damage. And it's not like he could just like, you know, build armor or build MR, because I'm doing a mix of both. Divine Sunder. Again, yeah, I said before, but I mean, this is insane. 10% max health damage. Physical. My Q, 10% max health magic damage. So, and both of which give me healing off to enhance damage. Uh, let me reset, and I'll walk down for maybe Dragonflight. 
That's gonna crash, should be good. Let's see, against that team, I can actually go tabbies. And I'll grab this. I'm running over there. I'm going at super speed because I'm following the blood the blood scent. I ulted there just to protect the surfing. Alright. Let's see. Let's go Tima and we'll go Warhammer here. Just get me a little bit more ability haste. Ability haste will let me ult a little bit more. So right now my ult's at 84 second cooldown. But actually, uh, when I level this up, it's going to go down to 69 seconds. It's going to take 15 seconds off of the... Um, off the old cooldown, which is really nice. So I'm gonna be able to duel often. Let's see. Okay. I'll take a free kill. Team out is going to allow me to show up the wave a little bit more. Big like Darius setting top. At least it seems to be a little bit salty. He's in the war top, by the way. Oh my god, he just lost half his health bar. Damn. A key was a little bit off cooldown. Dang. I ran out of mana, so I couldn't use my E and my in my Q there, I don't think. Maybe I could have, but Was that his flash or did he ward up there? I actually don't remember. Let's see, from here we can go we can have a smear of a sage for actually healing or Actually, what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to itemize into, we can go into like sterics here and get that extra shield uh, when we get lower. And again, the, the shields when we get low HP really helps out a lot so we can just lifestyle back up, especially because we get the extra healing uh, below certain health thresholds. I'm going to play for these two. Oh my god, I teleported. <laughs> uh, let's see, men out of that drag. You can walk down for it. I fell off. When's that one? And uh, that least since all 12. Mm, let's fight the dragon. Oh, I'm at ulti. We can try to get a pick mid right before dragon. I'm just gonna wait here.
Oh, run right onto the Lux. Perfect. Oh! I really couldn't cure! Get him all off. mana, but, I mean, Darius is top lane, so it's fine. Lucian's got Gore Drinker Ravenous. He's actually huge. He is level 13. He must have taken a lot of CS from Wings. I mean, I guess his mid and top kept dying over and over again, so... I wonder if building a tier here is pretty, is pretty, um... Pretty troll. Like, not even joking, tier, just so I don't run out of mana for these fights. But, uh, let's do this. Let's go, Sterks. Something I could do here, I, I went Taste of Blood, Ravenous Hunter. This is slightly better for lane, but what I could have done, I could have gotten Presence of Mind in the Precision Tree. Maybe that would have been super good too. Just to resolve my mana issues. You see me here. I'm gonna take a red buff. I was curious to see if uh, Darius actually w would want to find me there. I became a monster I always was. Get rest. Interesting. That's Lux old, uh, Lux Warden. Nice. So, got a couple kills. Uh, secured the rift without them having a chance to steal. I did have to use double sums, which sucks, though. When I get Sterics, by the way, I, I don't even have to flash out. I could just straight up fight. Because he actually gets such a big Sterics shield. Get him, Jin. Damn, I didn't know it fast enough. I could have saved him. I'm trying to click him. <laughs> He's just running. Nah, I got Sarek somewhere back. Actually, you know what? This is the solution. I just perma take blue buff the rest of the game. And then I'll never run out of mana. Okay, next ult. 30 seconds. Here you go. Yeah, I might be the only character in the game that can chase down a, a Talon. I'm not clicking one, two, down. Oh my god, you see that huge Sterix shield I got? My goodness. get mountain in a minute. I'll have my ult back up for the mountain fight too. Man, the ult cooldown is ridiculous. 60 seconds? 
I guess I have 50 ability haste to this build, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, they have the major majority of their damage is physical, besides the Lux. I mean, Lux does a lot, a lot of damage to Sushi kills, but... You know what we could, though? Actually, what might be the best next thing to build is Spirit Vestige, even though they have a lot of physical damage. They have some magic damage with Lux, but also the increased shielding and healing effectiveness of a Spirit Vestige plus the health would make, like, make it just super good. Oh my god, I am lagging. What is that packet loss? Okay. Well, my the character just glitched on the screen, but I was able to press the button still. Talon, Ignite, or Prowler Squaw. Oh, so close. Maybe I need healing reduction for this guy, actually. Maybe I need, like, a Bramble or something. Yeah, I think we go Bramble for the Lee Sin, just for when fighting him. Yeah, we'll go Bramble for him, and then we'll go into Spurusage. Hmm. We have Mountain Soul when condition. We'll see if my team will be able to stop the uh, the Baron. I don't know. But Lee Sin kind of tanks it without losing any HP. So Lee Sin has a bunch of healing too. They also have Executioners on both these guys. They do it really slow though. They have no damage. You would think with Aphelios they'd actually have a little bit of damage, but Aphelios don't have the guns, I guess. Wow, what a turn. You know, my Olaf was so many levels down, too. Oh, hey, my team won the game. <laughs> oh, there you go. They threw a burn. And now my entire team has shutdowns, even they're all behind. Yeah, we take those. All right, let's just shove mid. Um, I don't know if we can end off this, but we do our best. Oh, he's getting in him. Oh, they actually were just doing that Baron so slow. Come look for a pick here. Maybe a little bit ambitious on my part. They did burn so much into me though. Look how tanky I was. So this damage reduction on my E, on top of the healing I'm getting between Divine Sun and Ravenous Hydra, um, plus my Steric Shield is just ridiculous. And when I get Spirit Stitch on top, that Steric Shield is going to be 25% larger, and I'm going to be getting a lot more healing. I think I ulted the Lux. I don't know if she died instantly. I I don't know if my team was on the same page when I was saying I was trying to look for a pick um, over the wall here, but... We can go bottom. If that Lee Sin had built a Sterics instead of Death Dance, I think... Um, he actually would have killed both there. Sterix is really freaking strong. Like, the shield increases based off how many, like, unique champions damage you. So, if you actually get focused by all five people, which... That's kind of what we're doing to the Lee Sin. That's kind of what they're doing to me, right? Like, Sterix becomes just, uh, just a huge item. Oh, 
Oh, she is way back there. Yeah, I think they realized they needed healing cut. Even Darius went mortal reminder. <laughs> okay. I think with the pick on Talon, we actually just straight up get the Mountain Soul, right? We don't have a TP or anything to deal with, um, Darius. Seraphine's going back. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we get this for free. Not worth ulting. As long as we keep him away from the dragon, that's fine. Oh, you can actually chain that up. That's interesting. I didn't know as a mechanic, you could just uh, do up your ult on Gleason. Oh my gosh, such a huge fight. Okay, I think I should be GG. Alright, anyways guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below, what you think of Warwick Top. I think he can be a really strong pick and can cheese a lot of kills. Kind of like why I did that Darius, you just bait them, and then you can take over a game. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe on this video, it really does help a lot.